This is our midweek message. Great to see you. I hope you're doing okay. A um, couple of notices, very short. Just remember that we're opening our services up this Sunday, um, the 9 o'clock, the 10.30, Evensong, 6.30. I know it, a, an amazing array of worshipping opportunities for you. But you can also come along. So book online if you'd like to do that. Um, it's also day two of Advent, not too late to sign up for our online Advent calendar. So do have a look. And oh my goodness, can you see there's a shepherd coming through the corridor <laughs> behind me? Fantastic. What a brilliant moment in order to think a little bit about Advent and the coming of um, Jesus. I've been doing, I'm um, thinking about Advent, I've been doing a, a book I've just started and it's a poetry book, I know not everyone likes poetry, but it's called Frequencies of God. And it's a study of the poet, the Welsh poet, R.S. Thomas, who is a priest. And it takes one of his poems every day. Now, I know that poetry is not everyone's cup of tea. And some of you are reaching out to, to press stop on the update. Please don't, because this is a really great poem. I've taught enough teenagers to know it, it, poetry is not everyone's cup of tea, but... Uh, there's something about poetry that reaches parts of our spirituality and the story of Jesus in ways other words, to use the Heineken slogan, doesn't reach. And this poem is the first in the, it's called The Coming, which is what Advent means. And the reason why I love this poem is it, it, we, we have the perspective, rather than us waiting for Jesus to come, the perspective that R.S. Thomas um, chooses is God looking at the globe, looking at the earth with Jesus, his son, and then looking at um, creation in all its beauty, but all its misery and all its, um, uh, and it's on fire. And there's a river running through it, but we discover that the river is actually a serpent. And then beyond, it seems to telescope towards Easter, towards a tree on a hill. And the ending is so lovely because it affirms Jesus's choice to come to us. See what you think. It's called the coming. And God held in his hand a small globe. Look, he said. The sun looked. Far off, as through water, he saw a scorched land of fierce colour. The light burned there. Crusted buildings cast their shadows. A bright serpent, a river, uncoiled itself, radiant with slime. On a bare hill, a bare tree saddened the sky. Many people held out their thin arms to it, as though waiting for a vanished April to return to its crossed bows. The sun watched them. Let me go there, he said. And I love that last line, let me go there. Jesus chose us. He chose to rescue us. He chose to come to us. Advent means the coming. And so today, as you go about the rest of your day, I pray that you would know Jesus who comes to us, who chooses us today. Have a great day and hopefully we'll see some of you on Sunday. Bye. Mm -hmm.